guy too, Tony. He's out there. Lo, oh. you're looking good. That is an awesome car. Sorry. Wait, what do you mean you're sorry to say? Well, because it's an all chick show, but then you're on. Oh, that's true. I could be chicky if you want me to be for the okay. whole hour. Yeah, don't want oh you. my god, it's a car! <laughs> Look at that car! Oh my god! Wait a minute, now I'm cranky don't and sad. Sound like that. But now I'm happy! I'm hungry! Don't look at me like that! No, I'm not, I'm not gonna go there. I don't wanna get in me. Hey, Carol, yeah. just so you know, um, because you're uh, on the show today, I thought I would buy you something. It's a little gift from Real Milwaukee. I hope you don't mind. It is in Excalibur. What year is this? Hmm. It's a 67 Excalibur. It's all for you, Carol. Oh, great. Well, it was made the same year I was born then. <laughs> well, there you go. It's all for you. I'm just kidding. It's not for you, Carol, but welcome to the show. Thank this you. is a very, 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 very unique business. Now, having grown up here, I'm blown. My mind is blown. I don't, I don't know how to process this, but did you know Excalibur cars started in Milwaukee? the fancy cars that you see in Europe and you see them here in the United States. This place really? actually is like the caretaker of the company. They restore these cars, they sell them. We're gonna talk about this business. It's Camelot Classics. We're on Call Avenue, just off of 84th on the Northwest side. When you see what these people do here, seriously, your mind's gonna be just as blown as mine was. I'm still kind of, I'm still, they're looking at me like I'm, this is what we do every day. And I'm like, oh my God, you're gonna That's see cool. all this, this is, it, no, seriously, it's, it's a cool story, and you're going to see that all coming up. You're not going to want to leave. We won't. So we'll sit, sit down. right here. Thank you, Tony. Watch the show. Very good. All right, bye, everybody. Hey, speaking of... All right, last time we saw Tony, he was mocking us females. Yeah. <laughs> so, a lot, let's get That's straight standard. back to him. Camelot Classic Cars. Hello, Tony. Oh, boy. Oh, good morning, Nicole. You're going to love this, okay? This is one of those places where if we didn't show it to you, uh, I don't think you would know that it was here, and this is what our show is all about, is finding these little nooks and crannies and things that you didn't know. Maybe you did know about this. Excalibur cars uh, were made here in Milwaukee, and this place is kind of bringing, um, uh, continuing the maintenance and tradition of keeping that brand alive. This is Alice. Good morning, Alice. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. It's so good to see you. Thank you. You're supposed to say, it's good to be seen, Tony. <laughs> It's, it's good, good to, to be, be seen, seen Tony. Okay, <laughs> so if you want to find the place, it's kind of hard to find, but we are on Call Avenue on the northwest side, just off of 84th Street, and it's a hidden gem, I would say, Alice. Best kept secret in town, Will. Best kept secret. It's called <laughs> Camelot Classic Cars. Now, um, Excalibur is the brand that you work with. Now, you've been with Excalibur Since for a very beginning. long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Since when? 1963. <laughs> 1963. Just kind of like, I don't know if I should say that. So what happened was, the, uh, as I understand it, the company kind of, it, it, it kind of went, it stopped making cars. Yeah. The, How many the, cars were made total? Um, 3,268. Oh, and wow. they were made where in Milwaukee? What West Alice. In West Alice. I didn't even know that. Yeah. And, and we're going to see the cars up close, so you'll see what we're talking about if you don't know what an Excalibur is. But the, the point is, you worked there for so long, but then you continued keeping the brand alive. I'm too old to learn something new, so. So you just stayed with it? Yeah. And so now you have this shop here. Right, and, and bought Excalibur Auto Receivership, so we also own Excalibur and all the rights and titles and So technically, trademarks. you are Excalibur. We are. That is crazy. Just you. Well, you and, you and of course, some helpers, right? Yeah, we have our... You have lots of people over here that help you. Well, you have, yeah. it's like a smaller business, but hello, everybody. Who are all these people? This is Tommy. He's our general maintenance guy. John, my nephew, Hi, does John. parts and mechanics. My aunt, who does filing and stuff. And, Hello. And Jeannie. Hi, Jeannie. <laughs> How are you? Okay. So these, this is really the backbone of, of your business, right? These, parts, these sales. Parts yeah. and sales. Parts, and this sales, is your parts, keep everything else. And this is your parts department. Right. There's so much to talk about. I don't even know. Like, I'm kind of, I'm freaking out. Okay. <laughs> so um, most of these are, were in Europe. Like, a lot of them are in Europe, right? A lot of cars have gone to Europe. They keep saying by the time those stupid Americans figure it out, we'll own them all. Because <laughs> <laughs> they think that they're kit cars, but they're not. If you, you, um, if you take a look at the... the um, the frame and everything you'll see. We built our own chassis. And so you, this is not something that you just buy off the internet. The, the, you manufactured every single piece. Every of these single cars. piece. And this one in particular is being restored right now. Where is this going to go when it's complete? It goes back to England. They sent it here from England because they couldn't get the cars fixed properly there uh, for what he called a partial restoration. Um, and because I'm kind of anal at those things, I've gone over a whole lot more than maybe I, maybe I should. But uh, it had a lot of issues. And we want him to be happy with his car when it goes back. I'm fascinated by this. You guys, we're going to see even more of what they do here. This is just the repair shop. Over there, there's cars for sale. Um, I'm going to help uh, maybe do some work on one of them. Mm -hmm. You're going to see these gorgeous things. That's coming up as well. So much more to talk about. Very good. Mm -hmm. I love it. 
Morning. Real Milwaukee is on the northwest side today. We're at Camelot Classic Cars on Call Avenue, just off of 84th Street on the northwest side. Wee! You can get the link at realmilwaukeenow.com. Click links to find out more about this. We've met Alice. Alice is kind of uh, keeping the Excalibur brand alive. Correct. And um, one of the things you guys do here is not only re uh, restoration, but you have to maintain the cars as well, right? We maintain, we do storage, we do. Um Shipping, we do parts, we, anything that they need for an Excalibur, we can take You're care of You're a Wonder Woman. Not really. Wonder Woman! <laughs> <laughs> you really are. It's funny because she's humble, but like the things that she's experienced, and we're going to talk a little bit about that in a minute, but the things she's done, pretty awesome. We found a hidden gem. Awesome! Okay, so uh, one of the things we have to do is uh, maintain this car. What's above us right now? This is a 1974 Series 2 Excalibur. Okay. And you're going to change the oil. Now, who's this gentleman here? This is Rich. He's our mechanic. Rich the mechanic. Good morning. He's, my, Good he's morning. my cousin, and eventually he will be taking this over, I hope. Okay. Because so I'm you're... getting old. <laughs> I know you're not. <laughs> yes. How old are you, 35, 36? Oh, yeah, you can add. Yeah, that's 36, fine. just go with it. Um, <laughs> anyway, okay, so we're going to change the oil, kind of standard, right? Mm -hmm. Oil oil tank here. Yep. What's it called? <laughs> oil pan. Oh, oil, oil pan. pan. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. I know. okay, so does this work just like a, okay, so you have to walk me through this because sure. I don't want to, I don't want to hurt. Put the box end in. Okay. Turn to you. Towards me. Yep. Oh, a little loose. Okay. Yep. Okay, no. well. No, you can just do it with your hands. Okay. <laughs> Now I have to. Now you said now if I don't apply pressure here, it's going to yep. gush everywhere. Now as you start to okay. feel it coming out, once it gets towards the end, we're going to lift this up. Okay. Um, okay. Oh God, this is going to be. This is going to be either really good television or okay. It's kind of loose. I'm getting towards the end okay. here. It's a good I'm getting facial. It. Oh, I can okay, a good facial, <laughs> Katrina. Let's get you <laughs> I don't think you want to lay down and get this on your face. Uh, okay, you're going to get ready. Yeah, now I'm there. I think I'm there. Am I ready now? Yep. Okay. Pull it out. Pull it to the left. Pull it out. Or towards you. Towards me. Oh, wait, I wasn't quite there yet. <laughs> Yay! Did I do that right? Yep. Okay, yes. so let me, let me give this to you. Okay. Here, you take that. Now that I did that, let's walk over here, Alice, because this is neat. Because I'm just going to sit there. Yep. We'll let that sit there. Do you drink. need a rag for your hands? I'm good. I got gloves. Okay. It's all right. Okay, so now over here, this is this is like history kind of in your in your storage space here. These are all cars that um, that have been manufactured by Excalibur. What are some of these? Because now if you don't know what the car looks like, this is a dead giveaway. These hoses on the side, right? Well, yeah, they're called the flex, they're flex pipes, and the exhaust really goes out those pipes. They're not fake. They're real. Okay. This is the eighth car we ever built. This is number 1008. Wow. And it's... Um, it was part, it's part of an estate, and it's come in here for us to go over the car okay. and tell them what it might need so that they can put it on the road. And where is this from? Where did they sell Illinois. This from? from Illinois, so not too far away. Right. Okay, and then what's this beauty right here? This is a <laughs> 1983 Excalibur Roadster <laughs> oh, uh, that is for sale. Oh, it is for sale? Yep. Now, this how, much would this, how much were they sold for back in the day? About, uh, about fifty five to 60000 And how much, how much now? Now, well, with this economy, they're going anywhere about 65000 down to 55,000. So still pretty attainable. Yeah, they still bring what they brought new. That's awesome. They were quite a ways up That's before awesome. the economy fell, but. Oh. <clears throat> okay, and we're gonna continue walking through in just a little bit. You guys, if you want the link, go to realmilwaukeenow.com, click links, you will see the listing of all the cars that they have for sale here as well. So we're, uh, we're gonna come and look at, at some more beautiful cars over here. Hidden right. gem, guys, we'll hidden pull, gem. Exactly, we'll pull our money together. That's fine. One like good that, ride the logo for the, on the side. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Let's go to Tony. Tony, so don't even discuss what we're discussing. Get right to the cars. <laughs> it's a good thing it's an all chick show today, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing my keg exercises right now. No, I told All you right. not to talk about so, it. I told you about the cars. Here we are on not another beautiful ah. car. Ah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alice, what kind of what car is this? This is a 1967 SSK, which means that it's a no door early Excalibur. And this is what we showed you at the beginning of the show. Right now, this is somebody else owns this, right? Correct. It's a series one that we restored in okay. 1997. All right. Uh, it lives with us most of the time. Um, it's what you show off, I guess, like your show off. Yeah. Car. This is what we do. This is what Take we do. Take a look at this bad boy. <laughs> All right, so we got to do a little detailing because it's got a little mess on it, right? Yeah. So while we're doing this, stuff, this is a. Uh, you just take and put a little dusting. Like this, uh, this stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and there you go. How's that? And that's right. good. Then we we work now, it in. While I'm doing this, can we talk about some of the other things that you've done? Because um, I did not know this. Uh, prepare to have your mind blown again. What did you help design that people might be a little... Not little design, build. build. You helped build something that we might be familiar with. What is it? The Oscar Mayer Wienermobiles. The Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. She helped build them. Oh. 
Why am I so, I am, exactly. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> How did you get your hand in so many things? Because I, ha now forgive me for saying this, but it, you're a woman doing cars. Like that's, to, in the, when you were starting this, I had to imagine that would not be um, something that was looked at as, oh yeah, let her let her tinker with this, no big deal. That was probably, <laughs> that was probably a big deal though for you to it, get it that was, opportunity, right? Back then it was a very big deal. It was difficult to get a job, but when you're born and raised on a farm, you take things apart and fix it or you walk back from the field. So, that's true. You know, that was sort of the beginning and, and I sort of have to take everything apart and see how it works. So that was, and then you use a dry one here oh, yeah, okay. to buff it. Okay. Um, and, and so that's kind of how I got started. And Mr. Stevens, I went to work for Mr. Stevens in 1963 at the museum, okay. the Brooke Stevens Museum, and doing mechanical now, work. He's, and he's, he's who now, for people who don't know? Brooke Stevens designed the Excalibur. He designed so many things that you use every day okay. that, you know, um, it's hard to even begin to fathom, but if you look him up online, you'll find that Mr. Stevens did, did a lot of things. Did a lot of but things. But he gave you the opportunity. He gave me the opportunity and didn't look at me as another bra burner that just was looking for a guy's job and a guy's pay. Uh, that, yeah, but I mean, so, but look what it look what it's done. Yeah, he gave me a lot of opportunities. Sure. He and and the family, once they know you know what you're doing, yep. you know, then so I, I a lot of my opportunities came just from. You know, Brooks would say, well, what about this or what about that? And, sure. You know, and then the boys got the, the um, Dave and Steve got the contract with Oscar Meyer to build the Wienermobiles. And I had left Excalibur by then. And Dave came and said, we need you to come help build these things. And Dave and I and Steve were the first, were building, doing all the work in the Built beginning. the Wienermobile kids. Built it. At Very the end cool. of the show, you guys, we're going to start this up so you guys can hear what one of these babies sounds oh, like. Oh, that's cool. You're going like to it. want to hear it. It's beautiful. I like it. Thanks a lot, Tom. We're wrapping it up at Camelot Classic Cars here in Milwaukee. And Alice, you are a true Milwaukee legend, story, interesting facet. We are glad to have you in our community. Well, I'm glad you came. Thank you. And of course, your family uh, here helping to continue the tradition of Excalibur cars. We wanted to start this up so people yeah. could hear. Are you ready? Start her up. Let's hear this bad boy go. <laughs> this thing is. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Those pipes are real. Those are real exhaust pipes coming out here. Uh, what's the gas mileage on here? On this one, probably 25, because it's a 327, but it's 465 horsepower. So. Well, there you go. Depends on how much you stand on it. Not exactly a four-cylinder, but way more fun. Get the link at realmilwaukeenow.com. Click links. Back to you guys as I polish my car up and take it for a ride. Thanks. Oh, thanks Tony. A lot. Carol, we love you.